series. Both teams are physical. Both teams play hard. Both teams play defense. Both teams are long and tall. So, um, you know, just being physical, being a presence, uh, letting the game come to us, taking the shots that's available to us, um, playing with confidence, playing with swag, and just playing our style of basketball. Um, it doesn't really matter who's on the floor for us. We have the utmost confidence in whoever steps out there on the floor. Drew, uh, to start the pregame, Bud said he didn't want any sort of feeling out process in a game one. It was put the best players out there, throw a, a good punch to start. Uh, was that either a message to you all pregame or, or before this, or is that maybe the thought of coming in here on the road in game one? Um, I think it was <clears throat> just the thought of the team, really. Um, knowing what was at stake, uh, knowing that we are on the road and coming in here on a Sunday afternoon and uh, – not taking it lightly. Uh, like Bobby said, both teams are physical. Both teams play great defense and uh, have a lot of great players. So uh, we knew just right off top what it was and, and wanted to get a win this, this first game on the road. Um, Giannis had like a whip pass to you at the top of the key in the first half um, that you hit a three on. I'm curious. Have you gotten to the spot where you know that he's looking for you even when he's not looking at you? Like, what is that trust nah, kind of been? No, nah, to be honest, man, I just have my hands ready to shoot. Uh, ain't no telling, you know, when he going to pass. He might get in the air, and he just – I don't know how he sees it. Just get ready to shoot, get my feet set, and hold my follow through. And if it goes in, if it doesn't, if it, if it, if it does, oh, well. But um, just shoot the ball with confidence whether it goes in or not. Uh, just having your hands ready. Just one of those things that, um, you know, as a guy that shoots a lot of threes, that just have your hands ready and just be ready to shoot, be down, ready to shoot. You never know when the ball going to come to you. Just, you know, just lock and load. You have not been shy about talking about just how impactful Brook can be defensively. Just what do you think of his performance at the rim tonight? It was huge, uh, especially in that first half, starting out the game. Um, I feel like he didn't let guys get easy bu buckets or baskets, easy looks at the at the rim. Um, a lot of blocks, a lot of a lot of crowd, uh, and not just Brook, but Bobby, Giannis, um, West doing a great job funneling funneling the guy down there. So <clears throat> I think that's a big difference. Um, in the start of a game, them not getting easy buckets or, or fills at the rim. Um, it, it makes it harder, especially uh, having to shoot threes and, and contested contested jump shots. Uh, it wasn't the best shooting night for you or Giannis or anyone, but in the fourth quarter you have the steal that turns into a pull-up three, you have another floater, you have, you have another fadeaway. Like, what gives you the confidence in those moments, even when you're not having you know, a good night to, to still take them in the fourth? Man, you don't think about that. No. Uh, it's, the, it's the playoffs and it's the second round. Um, we were up on the road. So uh, like Bobby said, we have to play with confidence, play like we've been here before and uh, just step up, hold your file through and, and yeah. uh, you know, knock it in. I mean, especially as a basketball player, like that's all we do all day is get shots up, work on our crowd. That's your only job each and every, you know, season is to get better at something. So, you know, obviously it's going to be times where shots don't go in, but I mean, we have the confidence in ourselves just, just to keep letting it fly. Even then, you know, even when times, you know, get hard. Drew, you got to guard Jason quite a bit during the season. Are you kind of embracing that matchup? And what kind, what are some of the keys to slowing him as you know tall and as long as he is offensively? Um, I think one thing is just crowd him. You know, um, he has great handles. Um, like you said, he has the length too. So <clears throat> just to be able to crowd him, and then it's not just me; it's a team effort. Uh, I think to be able to. Uh, kind of funnel him and, and for him to see two or three guys, um, sometimes even four, it, it makes it like I'm doing something, but uh, I really rely on my teammates a lot. And Bobby, you guys had them, you know, at a historic low for two pointers in this game. They had fewer than 10 late in the uh, fourth quarter. Could you feel that, just how hard it was for Boston to get inside? And what do you think was kind of the key to that? I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, when you out there between those those lines, the, the trenches, whatever you want to call it, man, we just out there just you know, for trying to follow our game plan, try to be the best we can. Everybody trying to play their play their role to to the best of their abilities, trying to be stars in their role. So we're not looking at you know the numbers like that. We're just trying to be the best we can. So um, it's cool that we did that, but it's just one game, and we know it's going to be a long series. So got to get ready for game two coming up and take care of our bodies. Um, Drew, you mentioned the help defense a little bit I, before. Um, you know, the starters were pulled. I think Jason had two shots in the fourth quarter. Jalen had three. Um, neither of them scored when you guys were able to stretch the lead. 
How does that speak to the team defense and being that connected where those guys, it wasn't just tough for them, but they didn't even get shots up? Yeah, locked in. Locked in. I feel like we came here determined. Um, we came here with a plan and executed that plan as best we could. Um, and again, I don't, I don't think it's just me. There's a lot of credit to, to Bobby, um, Brooke, Giannis. Grayson played well, uh, picking up full court. Um, Pat picking up full court. And then, and then Wes, man. I feel like Wes doesn't really get mentioned very much, but <clears throat> a sure. lot of the time, he's Shout on their best, <laughs> they best score, and, and he's doing um, so much and sacrificing maybe things on offense because um, because of the things that we ask him to do on defense. So yeah. uh, it's definitely a team effort, and, and from there, just try to wear him down as much as possible to where uh, in that coming in that fourth quarter, it's going it, it is going to be hopefully a struggle, and and uh, they can't just have open threes or, or walk up shots. Uh, for both of you guys, when you see Giannis throw it off the backboard and just throw it down, make it look easy, what goes through your mind? I see Lee. I see Lee. Uh, I, I can't many, do that. I, not many I wouldn't even think about trying it. So. Not many words to be said, to be that's, honest. That's, I, mean, that's elite. Got a great nickname. <laughs> yeah, you got a good nickname right, for sure. Right. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you something something similar about that too. Are you at the point where nothing he can nothing he can do would surprise you, or or are there still moments that that uh, that stand out a little? I wouldn't bit? even say it was. Su I mean, it wasn't surprising, but when you see it though, you like, damn, <laughs> exactly. That's, That's exactly like playing two K and holding R two and throwing out the glass to yourself. That's a video game, bro. Yeah, <laughs> for That's real, it's crazy. So it's, uh, I don't know. I could probably do it on an eight foot hoop. He doing this on ten feet with the best players in the world. I mean, it's, it's well, elite. What would you call that? That plays is that a selfie oop? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he got a good nickname. Yeah, he got a great nickname. 